Hello beautiful people, uh, I'd grab yourself a brew if I were you. I've got one right here, it's going to be one of them. Those vegan guys. It all just gets a bit much of a muchness sometimes, doesn't it? Things just, you know, pile on top of each other and and uh, they, they doesn't seem like there's going to be any out. And um, I'm going to admit that that's how I've been feeling a lot just lately, which is why the very simple food and gardening vlogs, another which was short, one of which I've uploaded today, have been a real kind of um, escape for me to just kind of focus on them, grab our meals at night, do a little bit in the garden. But it's getting to the point now where there's not really much to do in the garden. Uh, apart, you know, shifting things about occasionally, making sure everything's watered, harvesting what we um, what we have grown, harvesting what we can eat when, you know, and we'll still carry on documenting that. But I do realise that it's I've been I've been using it as um, as a distraction from. I keep very abreast of the news. Um, and you know this whole Shmarona Shmaris thing is still scaring me shitless to be honest with you because it doesn't seem like there's ever going to be any out because um, as I wrote in a status last night you know our beaches at UK our beaches and our pubs are full America uh, one example biker festival up to, up to a quarter of a million people in one state um, right now i think it's a 10-day festival and i i get it i get that i want life to continue i want to be i want the vegan queens to be doing tri-monthly drag brunches at revolution and other selected bars in manchester i want to be doing other shows i want to be me and jason have got loads of projects that we want to be doing for youtube um and many of them require the freedom to be kind of you know out and about in the in the world and we're really missing doing our eating out vlogs we're really missing doing our travel vlogs i'm really missing doing my walking vlogs um so yeah it all gets a bit much of a muchness and i'm not gonna lie it's been i've it's i've been allowing it to really 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 get me down and i'm i'm very disappointed in myself because twice on this channel i've started a health journey inspired other people to start a health journey with me and then just stopped just let it fade away and started doing other things and i'm very aware of that it's a very clever distraction technique i use on myself a lot but i can acknowledge it as well and go oh, hang on what happened to that thing you were doing so i'm going to get back on the ball with that because this lockdown thing is no excuse to not be being healthier. By the way, I haven't, um, you know, I got down to uh, 75.6 uh, kilograms, oh, I'm still there. So I haven't gained, I haven't regained the weight that I lost. I just need to get back on the ball. Um, <clears throat> and I am fully aware of that. And so I'm not going to I'm not going to wear that like a, you should be really disappointed in yourself. I am, but I've acknowledged it and now I'm going to change it. So no need for uh, too much disappointment, really, you know. Um, other people disappoint me as well, you know. Um, I'm questioning people's motives. This lifestyle of ours, veganism, is a magnet for people who want to make a difference in their lives and the lives of animals, and fame hungry. And health fanatics, people who get into it through health, realize, oh, I see, 
well they made a mistake because they failed and stopped being vegan and maybe just keep this up and I'm 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 recognizing that in places but I'm not I'll talk about it vaguely but I'm not that kind of person and I don't want that kind of channel so I'll just say that I have I have my eye open um, because I, you know I think you Jason and I have been running this channel since 2015 and albeit we started it in 2015 as a bit of a laugh like we all oh, we've, we've gone vegan now let's let's start a YouTube channel together you know um, as our first video can attest um, or you know just for shits and giggles I'll link it up there the first ever video I did on this channel uh, and then many of you know already that uh, obstacles came along and took a quite a chunk of time <clears throat> but for the last <clears throat> two and a half three years we've been putting a hell of a lot into this channel particularly for the last two years it's had a lot of our focus and but it's never this even though we've tried lots of different things on the channel the the underlying um current the the underlying angle of it all has always been the same <coughs> help be helpful to people who want to go vegan and are a bit worried it's going to be difficult down to earth veganism ultimate outcome for the animals That's never changed. That will never change. Hence the writing of my free ebook, Down to Earth Vegan, which you can download from thoseveganguys.com, should you fancy it. Um, so yeah, I've been in. I've been in this bit of let's call it limbo. I've been in this limboic state, kind of plodding along with the garden, feeling quite achieved because it is quite an achievement to grow such a wonderful abundance of stuff in pots although not that difficult and I definitely recommend that if you have the inclination and a bit of room try you know pick something that, that you know you would eat a lot of like we're going through lettuce like you wouldn't believe at the moment are we still on me yes uh, because we grew a lot of lettuce um, and uh, last night we had our first uh, harvest of potatoes. Does anyone remember Jersey Royals UK buying in the UK Jersey Royals in the 80s when they were like huge? That's exactly what they tasted like. Just gorgeous. I can't wait to do more now uh, next year. Um, lots of taters anyway that's by the by so it's been it's i have been using it as a kind of distraction from the fact that um even though i felt amazing after four days of whole fed food plant-based eating i slipped back into a lot of um pre-packaged and um processed foods trying to make them better by eating them with salads or lots of fresh vegetables or whatever but if you can have a, a completely whole food plant-based meal that makes you f that it tastes wonderful and you feel great after it why wouldn't you that's what i've been asking myself and it is partly it is kind of <clears throat> some nights i just can't be bothered I've got the air fryer now just wax them in the air fryer and that's fine that's fine if it's interspersed but it gets to the point sometimes where I'm like seven days of everything on the plate is processed. Still with lots of veg and everything, and I'm not I'm not wanting to guilt anybody, because if you do that, that's fine. It's vegan, great, brilliant. Doesn't work for me. I don't feel as good as I do when I incorporate more whole food plant-based meals into my diet. I don't feel as good at the moment as I do when I do 10 minutes on the exercise bike every night, which I've let slip again. And it's all this, what's the point? 
the thing and it's because of the situation we're in now because <clears throat> it feels like there's no out it feels like while the beaches and the pubs are packed and while we're forcing the kids back to school and while there's a biking festival in the state in America with a quarter of a million people there, we're not getting it. We're, we're not getting it and it's still going to continue. And, you know, the, the desperation to get back to some kind of level of normality is strong. And I know it's the same for us all. I'm fully aware of that. I'm just acknowledging it. I'm just acknowledging that it's been something. Do excuse my eyes, I have my contact lenses in long. And this one here. In fact my eyes are twitching now. Can you see? Oh, stopped now, has it? Yeah, this one doesn't feel like it's quite pressed on there. You're looking for vegan contact lenses by the way, uh day soft. Look them up. Dailies, monthlies, deliver to your door. Send them a prescription. So yeah, um, what I have learned in life is never to be, you, you cannot be too angry at yourself when you've acknowledged something that needs to change. Because that's the biggest part sometimes and that's the part that people avoid all the, the it's the excuses. So I'm acknowledging that I bought an air fryer for healthier eating to, to enable more whole food plant based meals, more oil free. Because it doesn't have to be whole food plant based but it, it, less oil on meals hopefully plant-based where possible, lots of fresh things. That's what I want to be aiming for. That's when I feel my best. That's when weight starts to come off, getting on the exercise bike, or just 10 minutes a day with some tunes on. And it's here in the kitchen. It's right there. All I've got to do is move it over there, plug it in and get on it. But I've been wallowing in this limboic state there's no out so why rush things won't get back to normal what's that got to do with wanting to be fitter and healthier nothing it's just a convenient distraction oh we're clever us humans aren't we very clever at stuff so what I would like to ask you just because I get a bit, I get a bit um, overly anxious sometimes about stuff and I'm like, do people like this on the channel? Do they like this? Should I, should we stop doing that? Do you remember I did it not so long back when I was like, right, the vegan queens aren't working, they need to go back to their own channel. Um, and then I stopped the Skype stories because they, they, I was scared that because they weren't reaching the views of some of the videos on the channel, it would bring everything down. And I was like, oh. And then I kind of got all that in control in my head. It's, I'm glad the Vegan Queens are back on their own channel now because they, should be, they shouldn't be a part of what we do here. They are their own beautiful thing. And God love them. Um, and I enjoy very much what we do here on this channel now. But I, you know, I want to know if you, if, what, what are your favorite things on this channel? And what's your least favorite thing on this channel? That, that would help us to know what we should be prioritizing. So we've got our shopping hauls, We've got our recipe videos, we've got our what we eat in a day week, we've got our garden updates, we've got our lives, we've got Jason's music, uh, we've got kitchen vlogs. There's all of these things. Is it too much? Do we do too much? Because pretty much, that's something as well, are, are we vlogging too much? Not necessarily too many things, but too often. Because I've 
this has become a crutch for me. I'm going to be honest and tell you that it's become a real crutch for me. And it's I'm not going to lie either. The finances that are created through this channel, which amount to a, a, around £300 per month, including Patreons and channel members, which is where the bulk of it, of it all comes from. Because the ad revenue, don't even... Kind of nearly, I've nearly switched them all off a few times because I've just thought, what's the point of bugging people for a penny? Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that's how much they are, but um, it is pittance. So yeah, you know, this it brings it and it brings in about three hundred pound a month, and we're deeply grateful for that because what that did was enable Jason, <coughs> who was being stifled by work life to switch to a four day week. But of course, then we never felt any financial gain from the channel suddenly starting to, you know, bring in a little bit of income because it was gone from his work, but he needed to for his mental health. Um, so, so it's become something that I feel a sense of duty to. I, I never forced myself to vlog, let that be a, um, that's an, uh, an important point, important thing for me to say. None of it, it's never contrived. None of it. I always want to vlog, but then I worry, am I vlogging too much? And people are feeling like, I don't know, a sense of duty to watch, and even when it's something they don't necessarily want to. But then I think, well, you wouldn't feel a sense of duty to watch anybody's anything, would you? No, I wouldn't, actually. I'll, I will watch what interests me. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> or I'll watch things I've promised to watch. Uh, but I don't even watch Stuart regularly. And he's my best friend. Although he did do a cracking little video today. About, I can't even remember the name of the book. But I've watched it. I haven't commented on it yet. And I must. Uh, but it sounded right on my street. It sounded like a mix between Sliding Doors and Imagica. Clive Barker's Imagica, I don't know if anyone's ever read that, but that's a sprawling sci-fi. I like sprawling sci-fis. I played Omicron on Dreamcast and all. That was a sprawling sci-fi. Anyway, I'll link Stuart's video from today up there. Because I don't link to him enough. And then about 30 seconds later, I'll link to the Vegan Queen's channel. Because if you are a member of this channel, we would love you to be uh, a member of, a, a, a subscriber of... Uh, the vegan queens too so I'll link their channel up there so we know that our shopping vlogs are popular I mean you only have to look at yesterday's uh, Sainsbury's vlog it's over a thousand hits in less than 24 hours which for a little channel like us with six and a half thousand subscribers it's pretty good no uh, that's green man Tune off by uh, same ice cream man. <gasps> that were rude. That last bit. Sound the John or Mike? Um, same ice cream man round here for years. I'm 51. I bought ice cream off him as a kid. Well, I think it's his son now. Same. I'm sure it's same van though. It's probably not. Um. So yeah, I want to apologise to you and to myself for starting a journey and then just letting it fade away and I'm not going to it's not going to be like right here we go let's eat celery for the next three days that's not gonna that's that you'll never get that from me <clears throat> but I am going to start being more conscientious now and being aware of the fact that I am avoiding the exercise bike I'm not doing enough I'm not doing as much with food as I could um, and there are some reasons for that. The, the, the inclement weather does me head in. I don't know whether I want some hot or cold. I can't decide. But, either way, it can be healthy. See, this is it. You've got to come back at yourself with answers. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's what I'm doing with myself at the moment. Um, 
but I'm just I'm I'm just very like everybody. I feel really trapped and small and enclosed, and I'm desperate to go out for a meal and feel safe. I'd give anything to go to Catalonia for a week in October. Anything. Who knows it might happen. If there's any possibility of that happening, Cosmos, please let it. But as it stands right now, you know, when you've got these, I mean, the Secretary for Education in this country says, there's no proof. I'll say it again, if I've already said it. There's no proof that coronavirus spreads in schools. They've been closed. What a stupid thing to say. There's been nothing to prove it, because they've been shot. <sighs> so yeah, the beaches, the pubs, the schools, and here I am trapped in the kitchen. Thank goodness I've got you to talk to for an outlet, because I've got crazy otherwise. I'd, I'd go mad. Even with my husband. You know, and we talk a lot. Hell of a lot. Saw a really cute movie the other night on um, Netflix or Amazon. I can't remember which one. Called 41. About an old an old in the bathroom floor of room 41 in a motel and when you crawl in it and come out it's yesterday it was quite good or I enjoyed it actually I'm thoroughly enjoying Shit's Creek it's a book we're on uh, when we watch it tonight which we undoubtedly will it will be um, who's, it, why, who's playing music so loud it will be uh, uh, season six. Just give me a sec. Neighbour, play music. I don't blame her, it's just, you know, it doesn't help me with my vlog, does it? Have you got me, Lucy? And, um, yeah, can I just have a word with the trolls on this channel, please? You can attack my looks all you want all that does is show me how shallow you are get people saying look look at you you look a right wreck as a vegan and dark circles under your eyes and teeth missing mm -hmm. i'm 51 i'm a drag queen who, who drags up once a fortnight now and then scrubs my face like you wouldn't know uh, I, I got the same thing as my dad clench when i sleep i've clenched teeth out of my uh, out of my mouth but how shallow do you ever listen to a word I say do you hear the things that I communicate with other people that's what you should be paying attention to they're all Trump supporters aren't they basically don't like um, snowflakes I do so beautiful and unique never two the same wonderful anyway I've waffled quite enough um, I knew this would be a long one my apologies for getting off track with the health journey don't expect me to be boom right let's do this um, I would like to consider the possibility again of doing um, uh, uh, an exercise class once a week live let me know if that is something that would interest you I will be documenting the journey again uh, lots more recipe videos to come more shopping videos to come many more kitchen vlogs to come but do please let me know what your favorite things are uh, because that would be a great help and um, if you think what we do on this channel is too much please just avoid the bits you don't like like if you like the shopping vlogs uh, when you see a notification for something that's not a shopping vlog you could just ignore it because then that saves us being like oh everybody hates that we need to get rid of that because i kind of like what we do on the channel now um and i do understand it's largely me i kind of rope jason let's do this i rope jason into a lot of things anyway 
Uh, yeah, I've waffled quite enough. Thank you so much for listening. Um, on we trot, eh? Uh, see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourself and each other. I love you. Thank you for being there.